charming. <laughs> and he's charming. I'm just having Technically, I'm Ferdinand. <laughs> when was the last time anyone called you Ferdinand? Fair. Well, it is a pleasure to meet you, Eric. You too, charming and charming. As I said before, I'm Belle, and I will be leading this group. Now, I know discussing our marital issues in a group setting can be a bit intimidating. But it can also be really valuable to see that other people have similar problems. And I want you to know that I am not judging. No marriage is perfect. My husband has a temper. <laughs> Honestly, he can be a bit of a beast <laughs> sometimes. And, well, I have my head perpetually stuck in a book. We struggle with family issues just like everybody else. I mean, my father practically threw us together in the beginning, but once we finally did get together, he did everything but storm the castle with pitchforks to try and bring us up. Still, we are very much in love and we work through our issues. Today, I'm hoping to help you all do the same. So, let's start with something simple. How about keeping up with the castle? <coughs> A lot of couples struggle to figure out how to cohabitate and divvy up the housework. I'm sure you all must have some problems in this area. Eric, why don't you start? Okay, well, honey, you know I love you all, but some days I'd like to be able to make a crab cake without you giving me the look. <laughs> the look? I don't give you a look. I mean, I may occasionally remind you that my best friend was a crab, and that you're just sitting there, tearing my best friend's relatives limb from limb, but I do not give you a look. <laughs> I mean, I would never do that to Max, or to any of Max's relatives, for that matter. But if you just want to go about killing my best friend's kinsmen, well, that is your prerogative. Who's Max? Um, his dog, mangy thing too, shedding all over the house, barking all hours of the night. Eric swore up and down that he'd take care of him, but who do you think is up at six in the morning to walk him? I know how you feel. Our castle is practically infested with mice, but <laughs> then there are other abuses to get rid of them. She insisted for her friends. <laughs> <laughs> they are my friends. Uh, you know what? They're more than that. I know, I know. They're practically family. Tell me about it. Snow's the same way. She's always leaving the windows open so the birds can come and go as they please. It doesn't matter that it's 30 degrees outside. We have to leave every last one of those damn windows open so the birds can pop in whenever they feel like it. At least your wife doesn't have the birds coming every morning to dress her. No. <laughs> Seriously, she does. Seriously? I thought Cinderella was the only one who did that. Nope. Every morning, rain or shine, those stupid bluebirds fly in and dress her. Well, who would have thought? Does she have a shoe obsession, too? I certainly wouldn't call it an obsession. Call it what you wish. Cinderella definitely has it. We've had a cordon off an entire room of castle just for her heel. Well, you know what I always say here. A good pair of shoes can change your life. <laughs> At least she's just collecting shoes. I mean, shoes serve some sort of purpose. We had to make a whole extra house for Ariel, who's its, what's its, and thingamabob. <laughs> <laughs> what exactly is a who's it? All kinds of things. She's got books, she's got forks, she's got mugs. You name it, it's crammed in there somewhere. Is this true, Ariel? Well, I wouldn't call it an extra house. That's interesting. Tell me, Ariel, to your mind, are you a hoarder? A hoarder? <laughs> <laughs> yes, a hoarder. It's a potentially serious psychological condition where a person feels an overwhelming. Yeah, I know what it is! <laughs> I am not a hoarder. I am the curator of my own personal museum of above ground items. <laughs> and even if I was a hoarder, which I'm not, it would 
be a perfectly reasonable response to having a husband that never does anything with you. Hey, I do things with you. Really? Like what? When was the last time you took me dancing? I don't know when it was exact. Look, I am busy running the kingdom, after all. Show sure us reason. Six years. It's been six years. I got legs for you. <laughs> <laughs> At least your husband's not running around chasing every woman who happens to stumble into a sleeping spell. <laughs> oh, for heaven's sake, Snow. I don't know how many times I have to tell you this. I have an obligation to my subjects. If they're in trouble and my kiss can save them, it's my lord of duty. <laughs> Don't be ridiculous. You know you're my true love. But I might be somebody else's true love. <laughs> <laughs> if they truly love me, and let's be honest, why wouldn't they? Or might deprive them of something that might save me? I'm their prince, no? I have a responsibility. Yeah? Well, you have a responsibility to me, too, and to Charming Jr. I got called in for a parent-teacher conference last week because he started running around chasing every girl in his class the second nap time starts. Where do you think you were that from? <laughs> <laughs> <laughs>
some days I practically dragged the cut to the bull. Belly, don't be silly. You know, all I ever wanted was to be part of your worm. <laughs> <laughs> Thanks. It's just not the same since Louisa left. 